Hi there, Tina here from Miss Daisy Patterns. Today I'm going to be making these. They are Snuggle Blanky Baby Dolls. Right, so what you're going to need for these guys, um, as you can see I've made them in different colours here, is a selection of wool felt. Right, or ordinary felt if you want it, but I have a selection of wool felt. Choose whatever colours you want. Now you're also going to need some craft filler and some matching embroidery thread. Some pins, a pencil, a scissors, and then the pattern. I'm going to link um, in the description box below to the pattern. So you just go there, go over to the website, print it out, and you'll have it all ready to go. Now what you're going to need is you're going to cut out one of the back without the circle in the center and one of the front section of the actual doll with the circular center cut out removed but keep the pattern because you're going to be using that section the little pattern on the front as a reference for the embroidery now you're also going to have one circle and that is going to make the face and that basically just pops in there like that right Okay, um, so with regard to the embroidery thread, I'm using matching embroidery thread to sew in the face and the body, and then you'll use complementary threads to sew in the design on the actual main blanket section. Now you can use any colors you want. As you see here, I've used a selection of colors. For this particular one I'm making today, I'm going to be using yellow and green um, for the body and black to make the face. Right. And then what I usually do is I just prep the thread. So it's three strands of embroidery thread. And here I have them in burgundy, green, yellow, and black. And I have one needle already pre-threaded. Right, so the next step is to attach the face. And so you just pop it in there. Make sure it's as centered as possible. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm working a simple blanket stitch. Um, now I come in with a knot at the back right up against the face. And then you just pop the thread over. Now I try to keep the stitches as even as possible. And if you want a more detailed instruction for this, I have an up close version of how to do this stitch, um, uh, another video in it. So I'll link that also in the description box below. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move through this very quickly. And that is the blanket stitch attaching the face. almost there as you can see that is it completely set in then to just finish off if you pull the needle through to the back pop it over and then do a couple of back stitches just to hold the thread in place right and then snip it off so that's that that's basically the face in place no rhyming right Okay, now the next thing that we want to do is put in the two eyes. So you just pop in, using the pencil here, pop in two eyes and a very small mouth. Right, and with regard to this design here now, just freehand it. Um, it it's really interesting when everything isn't exactly the same. Um, so if you just follow, it stems off a flower. And again, here you can use any design you want. You don't have to follow the one that I've actually put on the front here. And also, I'm using a pencil, which is very light, but if you want to use, you can use a tailor chalk pencil in white um, or a variety of other great products that are out there on the market. I just had a pencil to hand, so that's what I was using. Right, so that's basically the design freehand drawn. Okay. Similar to what's on the pattern. Right, now what I need to do is I'll need to rethread because I'm going to use different colors. So for the main body, I'm going to be actually the main body of the plant. I'm going to be using this green embroidery thread. And all I do is I follow it up in a back stitch. So I work a back stitch to fill in the detail off the stem of the plant. And then once I've all that in, I do a very simple kind of loose chain stitch just to fill in the detail of the leaf. So it's no satin stitch, very simple, a loose chain stitch. And once that is all done, you just pull the needle through to the back and do a couple of stitches back to finish it off. 
and then the next thing to do is we need to fill in the flower detail and this is going to be in the yellow embroidery thread and again for this what I'm doing is I'm using a chain stitch um, but what I'm doing is I'm working the chain stitch in a circle now I have a full detailed um, tutorial online also on how to do the chain stitch so I will also link that in a video and I will link that um, to our written tutorials on our website as well all right so that's very simply a circular tray a chain stitch worked in a circle is what you're doing for the flowers very simple so the only two stitches in this decorative section on the front is the back stitch and a chain stitch right so that's that again pulling it through to the back and doing a, a few stitches just to finish off great so that is the front of the doll completed well almost completed I forgot the face right so what we're going to do here is with the black thread just do a couple of back stitches in place for each eye now it's just faint it has to be the impression of a face and then moving down and doing two back stitches together to work the mouth again you can use any color here if you want if you want to do blue eyes with a little pink mouth um, it's entirely up to you this is just a basic pattern that you can then customize to work in any way you want it to be and I'm snipping off the thread that's that completed and then finally we just need to assemble the two pieces together so basically you pop them wrong side to wrong side the right side facing you as in here um, I like to maybe pop a pin in place so as they don't slip as I'm sewing all the way around and for this we're going to need to leave a space for stuffing so I start just about around the head pulling through the knot and we're going to work a blanket stitch again all the way around so it's the same stitch that um, puts the face into position so blanket stitch that all the way around again the link to this um, video tutorial on how to actually do specifically this stitch is linked in the description box below now and what we're going to do here is we're going to stitch it all the way around now once you get to close to the base we just slow down a bit because what you want to do is you want to leave enough space to fill the actual doll with a bit of the stuffing right so I like to what I like to do is I like to tease it out just so that it's not so clumpy now again here you can use um, wool stuffing um, there's many other things that are out in the market you can use even cut off pieces of felt it doesn't have to be um, this actually polyester um, stuffing it's up to you entirely so you just pop it in now if you do use this particular filler um, you'll be surprised at how much actually goes into it so just keep going until you feel that it's comfortably filled right up to the top of the head and into the circular base of the body and then finishing off by putting a piece right in the center All right so that feels feels just right okay now what we want to do is just continue on the blanket stitch until you have the entire piece sealed closed Now, once you've that done if you just run the thread up through the stitches and pop it out the top so you just want to make sure that it stays closed okay and again also make sure that there's a back stitch on the stitches that you finish on right so that is 
our little doll complete it. Mm -hmm.